Good morning, Miners. My name is Miley Serrano. And I'm Sophie Serrano. Today is Monday, February 28th, and this is Minor Morning TV. Today's schedule is period 1, 2, brunch, 3, 4, lunch, 5, and 6. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Put your right hand over your heart. Ready? Begin. I, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The March Madness basketball tournaments begin this week. Our first two games will be this Wednesday at lunch. Game one will be the headbands versus the swishers. And game two will put little team, well, team Little up against <clears throat> the top hat monkeys. Be sure to head to the courts this Wednesday to catch all the good action. Good luck to our first four basketball teams. Do you have any golden lotto tickets? Are you tired of waiting for the prize cart to make an appearance at lunch? Well, you can submit your tickets to the Minor Pride Box in the attendance office. Eighth graders, are you interested in trying out for Heart Cheer? There's a mandatory trial informational, trial informational meeting on Friday, March 11th at 7 p.m. in Heart High School Library for anyone who is interested in trying out for Heart Cheer. Athletes and parents must attend. If you have any questions, please email Ms. Wanjon at bwanjon at heartdistrict.org. Happy birthday to all the minors who have birthdays this week. Roll the video. Remember KidFlix members, there is a meeting after school to, in room 22. And now over to Mr. Turner. Hey, good morning, miners. Happy Monday. I hope you guys had a great weekend. weekend. Um, a couple really big things for me today. First of all, for all eighth graders, this is very important. So if you are in eighth grade, listen very carefully. This Thursday night, we are going to have the heart panel here in Tanner Hall at six o'clock Thursday evening this Thursday 6 p.m. Hart brings a panel of seven to nine students over that will talk about all the activities and things that um, take place at Hart and will answer all of your questions questions about classes questions about sports questions about how to move around the campus all that type of thing so this Thursday evening March the third six o'clock Tanner Hall if you're interested in that Please be there because this is the first time when we've been able to do this in a couple years, which that is very cool. Um, next Monday, I will have some special guests with me to tell you about some other things that if you have interest at heart as well, too. So that's going to start happening a lot here over the next little bit. So be ready for you eighth graders especially, to dive into a lot of things that are happening. Next week, we'll talk about our March to Heart, which we will do on March the 10th. So I hope you guys have a good day today. Now, my last time, since this is February the 28th, for us to have a brief discussion, the last day of Black History Month, about three of my favorite guys. Now, two of them you have probably heard of, one of them maybe not. The first, the, today it's about sports heroes. First of all, Hank Aaron was a baseball player that was absolutely amazing across his time in sports. And if you were to think about characteristics of uh, 
Mr. Aaron, you would think of the words like sacrifice, perseverance, dedication, courage were all a part of what it took for him to be able to be the success that he was. And one cool thing on my part is that I got to spend all day with Hank one day myself. He was signing baseball cards and baseballs and all sorts of things at the mall where I worked while I was in college. And that's a neat story. If you want to know more about that, we can talk at brunch or lunch. Somebody else that is also in that same realm, of course, is Jackie Robinson. And Jackie Robinson came to play for the Brooklyn Dodgers in 1947. And some of the words that would characterize him as a part of uh, his character would be courage, determination, persistence, integrity, commitment, and excellence. And all of those things I gathered from doing a little research about what people said about him in the day. And Jackie was a very popular person, and he was also an incredible baseball player. Um, not only that, no one wears his number today. He was number 42. And there's one game during the year on Jackie Robinson Day in the major leagues where everybody wears number 42 on that particular day, which is a pretty cool thing. Now, the third guy I want to mention briefly is someone many of you may not have heard about as much, and that is Kenny Washington. And actually, one year before Kenny started, uh, one year before Jackie started playing for the Dodgers, Kenny started playing for the Rams. He was the first African American football player in the NFL. And if you did some research on Kenny, you would find out that some of his characteristics were that he was very orderly, very practical, down to earth guy, strong sense of right and wrong. He was very organized, and he was driven for success. He never gave up easily. All three of these guys made a huge impact on the world of sports as we know it today. And a unique thing about this is both Jackie and Kenny are connected to our Los Angeles area. Especially, even though Jackie played with the Dodgers while they were in Brooklyn, he's still a part of that Dodger legacy, as well as Kenny being a part of the Rams back in 1946. So let's think about that today and think about the characteristics that those guys displayed and also some of the same things that we talk about in Minor Pride. So I challenge you to think about that today. Now, back to the ladies in the studio. Every day at Placerita is a holiday. Today is Floral Design Day. That's all for us. I'm Sophie Serrano. And I'm Miley Serrano. Have a medieval Monday, Miners.